So yeah, J. Cole dropped off two records the other day, you know, um, first one being False Prophets, definitely stood out, you know, amongst the fans, definitely was trending and everything, and he basically broke down, you know, hip-hop artists, two to be exact, that kind of proclaimed themselves to be something that in reality they're not really showing, you know, the first verse definitely is about Kanye, and he basically just saying he's disappointed as a fan to see what he's become and, you know, he's really not believing the hype. And he just want Kanye to, you know, get back to the reason why as a fan he had, you know, enjoyed his music and everything. But he doesn't believe that Kanye can kind of top what he done in the past as far as, you know, his music and accolades and everything like that. And a lot of people have said it's a diss, it's a shot and... Then you have people saying that, you know, um, it's just him speaking as a fan instead of an artist. You know, you could take it either way. You know, it it, it looks like the scenario with uh, the control verse again is I'm tired of hearing that because it's just like if an artist want to rap, they're going to rap. You should need another nigga to pitch your name and some music to make you want to rap. And the second verse um, is basically about Wale. And when the track first dropped, it was hinted that it could be Taurus Drake and Kanye, but then after the more I thought about it, before it was came out that it was talking about Wale, I was like, no, nah, that's about Wale. When he broke down a certain things about, you know, Wale as far as him ranting over fans and critics dissing him and things of that nature, I was like, yeah, it's definitely about Wale. And, I mean, he spoke the truth. We can't sit here and act like he didn't speak the truth. He did, but it just threw me kind of for a loop, like, is this a promo move or whatever the case may be? The songs, it's nothing wrong with them. This one or Everybody Dies. It's nothing wrong with the songs. It's just, he just in that mode to where, like he said in the third verse about himself, he don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Rather, I have dreads or or not. I, lo- I like me. I, I love me. And I don't give a fuck who don't like what I do. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, this is great promo for his upcoming album, which dropped next Friday. But I just feel like, damn, I'm hoping that the album has the same vibe as these records because I'm hearing that these two songs won't even be on the album. So it's just like, well, shit, you could have put these out months ago if that was the case, you know what I mean? But the documentary was dope. I watched that. I am excited because of that documentary because the instrumentation he was using and it's like the perfectionist that he seems to be as far as the way he wants the instruments to sound on the record that has me very inclined to want to check this out. And, you know, like I always say, I keep it 100. With J. Cole, it's hit or miss, you know, and good hip-hop is good hip-hop. You know, I can't take nothing away from a good hip-hop artist, but, you know what I mean, I'm not the hugest J. Cole fan, you know what I mean, as far as the, the new style that he has, you know. And a lot of people are like, what do you mean by that? Like, if you look at before he got on and then he got on, you know what I mean, and the music is kind of the same, but it's just his delivery and everything. He still has that laid back flow to where it just seems like if it wasn't what he was saying that made it interesting, it, I don't think it'll be like that interesting because it ain't like we've never heard anything new that he's saying. Like we've heard a lot of artists say that. You know, you can count on your on one hand how many artists have said basically everything he's saying without pinpointing, you know, who he said it about. And kind of was a subliminal. You should have said their name. You might as well have said Kanye or Wale, but you know, he put it in the context of a way that makes certain people think that if new um fans or whatever the case may be wasn't really listening to his music, you know, then now it's trending you want to know who J. Cole is and what he's all about and what his music is. And so I don't really get the whole he was going to retire or never perform again or when he said it on Khaled album, hence a retirement, and boom, drop an album in December, same as, you know, 2014. But nevertheless, this is a dope record. You know, I'm just hoping that it definitely has something to do with the album when the album drop. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. I thought it was a good song, and... I fuck with it, you know what I mean? But I still feel like you didn't have to go that route, you know, if you want to really let the world know you coming back after two years with some new music, you feel me? You didn't have to have the headlines of, oh, he's dissing this person or he's not cool with this person when, you know, him and Wale was at a basketball game and Wale responded, of course, but I just feel like it's dope. But I think the documentary it would have been a good way to let the fans know you was back. I didn't, The music, you didn't need the music, but if you watch the documentary, you hear it where they had a conversation where it's just like, oh, you need that one thing that, you know, lets fans know 
that, you know, you kind of back in yada, 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 you know, seeing how it's been two years and we only got like a few verses from them here and there. But either way, I'm going to check the album out. You know, hopefully it's up to par with uh, 2014 Forest Hill Drive and it's, you know, not lackluster. You know, I mean, you've been gone for two years, so hopefully you got a lot of shit to say. But that's just my thoughts. Other than that, I'm out. I'm a holla. One.